Um, so what's the solution? Well, in 2010, the United States Congress, President Obama signed into law the Affordable Care Act. Uh, that was not the solution. And it's important for you to know why, so you can talk about that. But the uh, there were all sorts of efforts uh, used to prevent people from pushing for a national universal health care system and uh, co-optation of progressive and labor organizations to back what the Democrats were putting forward, which was based on a plan that Mitt Romney passed in Massachusetts in 2006, which was based on a plan that was devised by the Heritage Foundation. So there's nothing at all progressive about the Affordable Care Act. What it really did was um, and, you know, it expanded Medicaid to some extent in some states, but not every state, of course, about 13 states didn't. Um, but it basically mandated people to buy private health insurance if you didn't have it. The government actually set up a market to sell that private insurance to people and then subsidized to the tune of hundreds of billions of dollars a year the purchase of that insurance. And the whole idea was that they said they were going to create this competition that was going to drive prices down. Instead, the major insurance companies divvied up the country geographically and uh, and they people have very little choice. And so that competition didn't emerge. The prices didn't go down. Um, and this just ended up being a huge transfer of public dollars into the hands of the private health insurers who um, have seen record profits since then. And then it also fueled this merger uh, this consolidation of our healthcare system. So in order to have any kind of market power, we see these big health systems gobbling up and even insurance companies, you know, Aetna bought CVS. We have insurance companies that are doing what's called um, vertical integration. So they don't just own one part of the system. They, they provide the insurance, they own the hospitals, they own the practices, they own the laboratories, you know, they own all the different components. So they're making, you know, money every which way. And this consolidation and corporatization of our healthcare, where in fact, you know, venture capitalists are now owning these parts of our healthcare system and profiting off of it. I think there's a, a third of emergency room doctors and many hospitals contract out to private corporations to provide staff their emergency rooms. A third of them are actually in companies owned by uh, KKR and Blackstone. So they, you know, they're making all this money off of our, our healthcare system. And so it's this kind of corporatization and consolidation and monopolization of our healthcare system since the passage of the Affordable Care Act that has created, as I will talk about in a little bit, um, the conditions in which a national improved Medicare for all is not gonna be the ultimate solution to our healthcare crisis. Although we still are advocating uh, for that, um, ultimately we are going to have to create a national health system and I'll get into that in a moment. 